Good morning, dear SNP students. Students, today we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic of grammar, and that is finite and non-finite verb. Somehow we have discussed about the finite and non-finite verb, and today we are going to discuss about finite and non-finite in briefly. Here, as example, here I am presenting the first definition. And after the example, then we will understand, we will learn everything about finite and non-finite, but in brief manner, we will not go in large expense or large scale. Here, first go with the definition, what does the definition of finite and non-finite say? Here, when a verb changes itself as per the rule of subject number, person and tense is called finite verb and when the subject this sentence says when a verb doesn't change itself as per the same subject number person and tense on that occasion such a verb will function as non-finite when the verb will follow in its changing by subject, number, person and tense on that occasion it will set itself as finite verb and when it will not follow the same rule that means when it will not get any affection or effect by subjects, number, person and tense it will be considered as non-finite here in example you can understand everything here you are getting the two verbs in a single sentence you are getting two verbs want and go here the subject is I therefore verb you are getting that is want after to go now subject is changing itself as well as person the verb has changed itself now he wants the one has been changed into once to go this is working as usual and now he wanted here tense has changed itself now tense has changed now the, this tense is functioning in past therefore the verb has changed itself now he wanted to go here you can understand this verb this is not the single in plural so they verb are changing themselves at per subject number person and chain but here in other hand you are saying they are all three verb are unchanged they are not changing themselves therefore they are as per the rule they are functioning as non-finite and here they are changing therefore they are functioning as finite understanding finite and non-finite which understanding finite and non-finite verb is a great task here whatever you are seeing this is not only a uh, here after some time we will understand everything after erasing such words we will flash some other sentences where you will understand everything first uh, I don't think there is any problem with you and one more thing I want to tell just before the energy if a sentence will be consisted of a single verb then you don't have need to consider that the such verb will be of other form can be go in non-finite favor it will always work in the, in the favor of finite because if there is single verb then the verb will work that is verb will function as per subject here there are two verbs and if there are two verbs and more on that occasion you have to take the consent you have to go in the context of non-finite as well uh, briefly we are going to understand now over okay, here students have a look the words and sentences have flashed over, over the blackboard. In what way non-finite 
it function its program in three standard in three three ways it can function its um, program as in the form of infinitive in the form of gerund in the form of participle first we have to understand function a and function b infinitive how you can understand the verb is forming its form as infinitive and how you can understand about the verb is in the form of gerund if verb will be consisted of 2 plus v1 that will function there as infinitive if it will go like the verb plus ing that it will function as gerund we have to understand infinitive always consider take the part of the verb but gerund gerund doesn't do the same it function as noun here below you are getting the examples and on the base of your example you will understand to walk here we are talking about the walk to walk is an exercise we are telling if it is a verb that means we will we have to express our sentence by doing such work that means we are telling this is walking this is the process of walking and this walking is functioning what exercise this is a exercise when going with the walking then what you have the walking we have maintained that means we are telling the person that process is walking the going and coming that means the going by foot this is all about the process of walking that is that walking is an exercise when we are going with in the favor of in infinitive that means we are doing that work we are self doing but when by the help of gerund we are completely showing that process is knowing as working and that is working in the favor of gerund same situation is happening here to speak english is an art and speak english is an art but here not only that you have need to understand that infinitive what we have come to know that the infinitive is consisted of two plus verb but sometimes infinitive uh, doesn't stand for two plus verb on that occasion what happens infinitive consider bare infinitive just example few example we are going to present Situation. If we add, 
I N G with the verb. Therefore, verb verbs change change themselves as noun. Not only in noun they persist in verb, but actually if they are very track, then they consider as noun. And you can understand by applying your sense whether the verb is working as. That means V plus N G working as. Gerund, where as verb and somewhere and as an adjective. We will understand this process shortly. Now it is time to understand about participle. How participle uh, function its program. The participle function is programmed into three different standard like the present participle, past participle, perfect participle. Now you have need to understand about what is the theme of the Understanding present participle, past participle, and the perfect participle. Or will go consisting with the ing. On that occasion, this can work in two different standards like the verb and adjective. Example, examples have been given. You can understand. I am eating. Here, eating is working as verb. It is functioning this program as as an as a verb here. Therefore, this is present participle and just below, he doesn't like smoking girl. Girl with smoking. That means this is the manner, this is the quality, negative quality of girl having a smoking. In such case, you can consider smoking is not functioning its program like verb here. It is functioning its program as a ad adjective. Because this is the quality of the girl. Now, past participle. If verb is consisted of ed that means the verb will be of the its third form such form considered as past participle as here you are seeing an example c has gone gone is working as past participle and below perfect participle is formed with having plus v3 that means having plus past participle here Two sentences you are seeing as he saw a lion he ran away what happens in such uh, case when second walk creates or emits after just after the first action on that occasion such action goes in the favor of gene so perfect participle in what way here you are seeing he saw a lion. If someone will see the lion, then after that you can understand the feeling of that person. Definitely he or she will try to miss that place. Uh, without uh, spending or spending uh, any small span of time, the person definitely desire to miss the, uh, leave the place. Therefore, the second action, he ran away, will go creating on the base of the first verb, he saw a lion, he ran away. Here we shall use having seen the lion, he ran away. The second action has been generated on the base of the first action. If the first action will not take place here, then there will be no any existence of second action. That means here second action is showing its existence. It is only because of the first action. Therefore, you yourself can understand about such function. Now, I am understanding uh, you have completed, uh, you have understood everything. Students, thank you.